bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see from up here. The world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful. Hello. Lisa here just looking at my chickens gave them a little bit of feed so they could stay in the camera site uh, but yeah my flock is a lot smaller than it was last year uh, I'm not sure if there's some kind of bird uh, that's coming swooping them down and catching them or if they are hopping over the fence and then um, something getting them at night or uh, but yeah my flock is a lot smaller but uh, these are older chickens and they're not really laying a lot of the eggs uh, for this many chickens we should be getting a bunch of eggs but anyway I just thought I'd let you look at them and uh, see what they're up to yeah we need to move them onto greener pastures they uh, kind of work this area they got a really large area but they've still kind of worked it where I'm sure they'd like to have a little softer grass underneath their little feetsies. And you know, I don't think I have very many roosters because I don't hear them crowing a lot. Um, so I really uh, haven't been down here as much as I should and I haven't really been paying attention to them, but um, I think uh, most of these are hens. Uh, but. They're not, uh, like I said, producing a lot of eggs. And if they are, then I might have some chickens that are uh, eating the eggs and um, because they'll eat the shells and leave no trace. So it's just uh, one of those things that unless you're really watching it, you just don't know who the culprit is. Look at that chicken. That fence is on and he just flew right over it. We really do need to clip their wings when we move them next. But anyway, I wanted to get on and and uh, kind of mention that we were down at the Heartland Homesteaders picnic this weekend. Had a blast down there. Uh, met a lot of people and really had a good time. There was a lot of people down there that has chickens and so they might be enjoying this little view maybe not <laughs> uh, but uh, we wanted to thank uh, Lee and Teresa for putting this um, homesteaders picnic together it was really nice to be able to um, see familiar faces and just hug all our internet friends and just hang out and have a great time and plus the weather was really nice it never did rain it they were expecting rain but it didn't um it didn't arrive so we were really uh fortunate for that we had a little sprinkle here or there but uh that kind of cooled us off just a bit but nothing to get really wet the food was really good too uh, lee made um all the barbecue um pulled pork and it was so tender and so good and everybody brought sides and oh my goodness everything tasted so good can't go to a picnic without having some yummy food right <laughs> look at that goose over there he's eyeballing somebody looks like I really don't know if I'll ever have another goose or not these geese that I had, now the one I had died, I'm not really sure why, but, um, and I think that one was the mean one, but, you know, maybe it, this one needs a little partner because uh, he's, uh, or she is, I think it's a boy, could be wrong, but um, I believe it. This one is getting mean. It was fighting a chicken a minute ago, and I'm not sure if he was 
romancing it or trying to kill it but uh, I had to go in there and break it up because um, it just wasn't gonna happen while I was down here <laughs> it's funny though that the goose hangs out with all those ducks or vice versa they all just kind of stay in a little spot to themselves until they start walking around and then they all follow But anyway, getting back to the homesteaders picnic, uh, it was really good seeing all of everybody that showed up and I really hated that the ones that couldn't make it uh, wasn't there. I really was missing some of those familiar faces from uh, last year and hopefully uh, everything is good in their world now and, um, and we uh, hopefully we'll get to see them next year. Uh, we met up with our good friends, Tanya and uh, Tony. Uh, they both have great channels if you want to check them out. Uh, Tony's Tractor Adventure Homestead and Tanya's Place. And uh, those are good friends of ours and uh, super sweet people that you would just love to um, meet. And um, maybe some of you all that are watching that was there at the picnic met them and... and uh, got to know them as well but um, if not go to their channels check them out um, you won't regret it they're really good people can't wait to see them again <laughs> we really soaked up so much information from them too so uh, we're all uh, Don and I are still processing all the information that they were giving us advice on on our YouTube channel but uh, hopefully we won't forget and we can put it into good works and It'll help our channel out, but um, but other than that, we just had a great time visiting with them and everybody that showed up. We had a really great time. Bad thing about uh, Donald and I didn't even film. Uh, we brought our cameras and we had our phones and um, we were really planning on. Uh, doing a lot of filming but we just uh, got busy talking with everybody and uh, hardly picked it up at all but if you want to watch any footage from this um, picnic uh, there's a lot on the internet uh, or YouTube right now just put in um, Heartland Homesteaders Picnic and you'll see a bunch of uh, the YouTubers putting out their videos it was really a just like a family reunion everybody just was getting together and having a good time um, uh, so you'll enjoy watching theirs and don't forget to subscribe to their channels too that really helps when everybody helps each other out like that there were so many um, uh, booths out there too that um, everybody could buy from um, there was all sorts of crafts and uh, tinctures and candles and pot holders and uh, ornaments and uh, there was just tons of stuff uh, I meant to go back and buy a bunch of stuff but boy time flew by so quickly uh, that it just got away from me but we did buy a few things um, Don and I got a um, couple uh, tinctures uh, one was for my headaches that I get and uh, and one Donald has um, some sore muscles um, uh, in his calves and so he uh, was kind of hoping he could get something to um, uh, help that out so healthy days ahead for us <laughs> but uh, thanks to Boots and Bounty for uh, making those uh, products and um, and I, I uh, took it for the first time this morning and um, it seems to be working really good I mean I, right this moment I still have a touch of a headache but that's normal <laughs> but um anyway uh Donald took his tincture last night so I'm not really sure if uh if he's feeling any better today or not but anyway it's uh it's a lot healthier than taking a you know a prescription pill or uh over-the-counter pill um hopefully I'll I can kind of stop taking those and and take something more natural for my headaches it doesn't take them long to eat that chicken feed they're still picking at the ground but I believe they 
pretty much finished it all. And all the ducks and the goose over there behind, by underneath that tree. And it's not even really sunny out here today. But I guess that's their spot. Also, uh, Bub, uh, he, he was the, at the seed table and oh my goodness, there was tons of seeds there. A lot of people brought um, seeds to exchange and give away and uh, I was over there talking with some people and here he came with this bag of seeds and I could feed the entire state of Kentucky with all those seeds. So I am really thankful and very blessed that he uh, thought to bring that over to me because I was so busy yakking that I uh, didn't get over there to uh, get a couple packs of seeds but yeah he blessed me with a whole bag full and um, so I'm I'm gonna be really having a good garden next year with all those seeds if uh, if we don't have a drought and I could continue uh, doing a, a garden this year what a failure but that's okay I mean there, there's failures on the homestead so that was one of them and uh, it's a good thing last year I preserved a lot of things in jars so uh, we have plenty of uh, veggies and uh, things like like that that I pre preserved and put in the jars so anyway we'll be okay next year we'll try better and and hopefully we could uh, grow a really big garden so it is um, pretty green from all the rain that we've had but uh, there are some places that are a little still crunchy from the uh, the drought from this year But it was really good to uh, get together this weekend with all the people it it was just fun watching everyone love on each other and show their silly side as well and you know we all came away with make being better friends and making new friends there was a lot of new um, people there as well this year so um, that was really good hopefully they'll come back next year and and throughout the year we can uh, stay in touch but yeah there was a bunch of uh, new faces so if you didn't make it try to save up you got 365 ish days to plan for it it's um it's usually held on the second Saturday in September, and um, uh, if you uh, need more information, just get with Teresa. Um, she, um, like I said earlier, she puts on this uh, uh, picnic for everybody to enjoy, and uh, her uh, YouTube page is Stringfield Ridge Farms. So contact her, and she could. Uh, uh, let you know all the information for uh, making plans for next year. And you know, another thing too, uh, there is so much to do in the Grand Rapid uh, area um, you know it's a big tourist uh, place you could uh, camp and if you got your Kentucky fishing license you could fish and um, go swimming if the weather um, is nice that day and uh, lots of sightseeing and then right there by the picnic is a uh, old um, really cute touristy town they have plenty of places to eat and uh, the famous uh, Patty Settlement restaurant is there, and it's fun to walk around and and see uh, all the little paths and booths and buildings that they have little um, uh, gift shops in and everything. So there's a um, ton of things to do down there. So um, I was saying to Donald, you know, it, it just seemed like uh, the picnic was uh, over with so quickly because we were having so much fun. But if you made plans to you know especially if you live far away and took a couple days you could do a whole bunch of stuff in that area 
I think um, I not too far, I'm not really sure how many miles away from uh, the Grand Rapids um, area, but you can go see bison and elk and all that wildlife, wildlife stuff so um, in a, in a we can area. I haven't been down there, but uh, I heard it was really pretty. So maybe next year we'll do that, or even maybe this year, Don and I can take a little trip. It's, just two hours away from us, but um, yeah, it's a really pretty place. And there's some places on those rivers that look like oceans. They're so big that you look across and you think, wow, I feel like I'm at the ocean, but it's just a river. Well, everybody's quiet down here today. They're just living their life, aren't they? Not sure if it's their best life, but they're living it. Well, that's all I've got. Maybe Don will pop in on here when he gets home from work. Um, but if not, you all have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe and give us that thumbs up. And um, I really would appreciate it if y'all left a little message where I could just um, say hey to you. And um, But anyway, just have a great day. And thanks for watching. And, and we'll see you on the next video. Enjoy the chickens.